Hello, and welcome to our January in Touch Forum. We've got a great topic and a lot of information, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time this morning um, with introductions, because I want you to hear all about how you can dramatically reduce your operating costs at your hotel. And our guests are here to talk about just that. We've got Brad Statz and Lee Campbell from security for you and um, it has nothing to do with the CRS today. It's really about how to improve your hotel efficiency um, and cost savings through energy management. So this is not a topic I know anything about, but we're very fortunate to have Brad and Lee here to share with you today. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Brad. Go ahead. Thank you, Pam. I want to thank Inlink for having us in. <clears throat> and. Uh, we're going to try our best to keep this interesting and keep it moving because what we're going to share with you today will uh, dramatically impact your bottom line and also your operations of your, uh, of your property as, as well. And um, our company is Security for You. We started out primarily as a security company. Uh, we trademark SMS Interactive, which is uh, our services tool, and we focus more on energy management now than we do Security. However, this is a this is a combined uh, service, and, and we do have some security products that we'll go over as, as well. Um, Pam, if you want to click through uh, once more, the information we're bringing you today uh, is contained partly from a study that Dartmouth University did, and uh, it comes from their engineering school. So some some of these numbers will be very important for you to hear. And if you want to click through one one more time. The technology uh, is a Siemens-developed technology. Uh, we're, we are very, very, um, I think, pleased with how this technology is rolled out in Europe. It's been there for about six years uh, or seven years. And um, although developed by Siemens, there's about 40 different companies that manufacture some of the uh, software now, uh, if you want to keep going. This is our, our mission statement. And uh, rather than reading the, the whole thing to you, I'll just tell you, our ob objective is always to bring world-class products, particularly with energy management and green technology. Um, I'll tell you a little, little, a little bit of, about me. I, I didn't embrace green technology until I understood that green also means a lot of savings on, on green as well. Uh, my wife kind of got me interested in green uh, recycling about five years ago and in the last two years we we understand how dramatically this will impact your bottom bottom line. Uh, Lee, you want to give us an overview of um, of uh, what this pre pre presentation is going to be about today? Uh, sure. Mainly what we're going to try to run through today, we're going to take a look at uh, how to manage some of your energy costs. It's obviously energy costs are going up. Uh, they don't go down. Uh, it's one of the, the costs that we can that we can work on. Uh, we're going to look at a couple different things. Obviously, we need to be able to improve bottom line costs without any customer attrition. And I think we can actually go through pretty uh, diligently and, and, and cut some costs on your energy costs. Let me get the next slide. Uh, with, the, with increasing energy costs and lower travel numbers, we need to find a way, and well, I take that back. You said today you're actually coming up, but, but we need to find a way to be competitive across the board. Uh, some of the stuff we're doing here, we're looking at up to a 40% saving on utilities. Our average is around 33%, and we're going to I'm going to show you some numbers here pretty soon. So significantly here too is it's the average across the United States, $2,196 energy per room each year. And if we give you uh, a tool that allow you to have an average of 33% savings, you'll have to sell the occupancy of that room five less times annually to have the same profitability in your ho hotel. So uh, as we roll through this, keep that in mind that you'll have to sell that room five less times when you're saving 33% average on your ener energy costs. Go ahead, Pam. Um, key energy management systems, uh, they're not new. Um, they've been around for quite some time. What we do is is different than your traditional key energy management systems, but uh, this slide here shows you basically how it works. Your your key card holder communicates to the rest of the devices inside of your hotel: lighting, heating, air conditioning, 
Um, even power drains on your televisions can be turned off when, you're, when your room is not being occupied. And because it's wireless, there's almost no intrusion into your hotel once this device is installed. And, uh, and the, micro, the microcontrollers, I don't want to get technical, basically it's energy harvesting. We don't use batteries. We don't use power. We use kinetic and solar energy, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Go ahead, Pam. Um, I'm sure most of you know this number better than, than we do, uh, but Dartmouth let us know that there are approximately 47,000 hotels inside the U.S. today, and only 5% have adopted. Now, this is a 2009 number, so it's, uh, it, was the, it was this is actually December 2009, so this, is, this number I'm sure is up, but only 5% of hotels had implemented any type of key energy management system. And 82% uh, of the people who were questioned about the key energy management system in, in their room found it favorable. If any of you traveled to Europe in the last six or seven years, there's over 100,000 hotels in Europe that have already implemented this type of technology. So it's not new. Uh, the United States uh, has a small organization called the FCC, the Federal Communications <laughs> uh, Division, and they are slow to adopt new technologies. And because this is a wireless technology, the FCC did not approve it uh, for the U.S. use until about two and a half years ago. So you will not see a lot of these systems inside the U.S. yet. Go ahead, Pam. This is a real, the, 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 the picture set, says it all. 49% are strongly in favor of key energy management systems. Only 2% are opposed. My dad is 75. He would probably be opposed only because he doesn't want to have to learn how to use one more thing. But let me tell you, it's very easy. All you do is you take your key energy management card, which is your room key access card. When you step inside your door, you slip it into a slot, and that's how it works. Very, very simple. And I will say real quick, I, this is in uh, opposition to the uh, occupancy, occupancy sensor that you'll see. And I know there's a lot of bad press out there with the occupancy sensors. If you know, uh, a customer is not moving in the room, the air shuts off, and things like that. This is where the key energy management system is head, head and tails over, over the top of an occupancy sensor. Absolutely. And we'll still use occupancy sensors to drive rooms or areas of rooms for larger rooms such as the bathroom. But as far as your, your controller for the technology, motion sensors really have a lot of faults. And Lee is exactly right. There's no motion inside the room. Guess what? Your system shuts down. Your guest is hot. They're calling you up front. And it's a bad experience. Go ahead. If you look at these numbers, I, I'm not going to, to spend a lot of time here, but if you will just look at uh, the fifth line down, which is savings. Across the board, um, there's Hawaii, Arkansas, and New York. They pick different climates, different regions. The savings is the same. It's 33% savings on utilities. The highest recorded is 40%. That's indicative of your hotel, no matter where you are, because it's, it's not based on what you pay per kilowatt hour, just based on a percentage of savings. Every single one of these hotels uh, also had a different payback period, but that is based on a different kilowatt hour in a different state in a different region. One of the things that's significant, and we're not going to, I'm not going to talk about it today, I'm only going to mention it briefly, is different utility companies will have different incentives that can increase your payback. In fact, uh, the northeast region of the United States, some of the utility companies there have a more developed incentive or tax incentive program or a rebate program for in implementing green technologies. There are a number of hotels that pay for the system the day it's put in if there is a strong enough rebate. So you really may not even have out-of-pocket costs. The only thing we're looking at on this slide here, though, if you, if you look at savings, is your 33% across the board, your average payback is about 18 months without any tax incentive or any tax rebate. Go ahead, Pam. Um, I, here's something that is, it, it just overwhelmingly speaks of, of how this uh, Siemens technology has, has grown. This is a list of manufacturers who have adopted this proprietary wireless software. Um, all of them are 
adopters of the Inocean Alliance, or these companies are all members of the Inocean Alliance. And, and we put this here just so you know, this is not a new technology. It's not an underdeveloped technology. It's been adopted by some major manufacturers throughout the world. <sighs> Lee, why don't you talk about the radio technology slightly? Okay, just uh, real quick. This is I don't want to get too much into the technical side of it because of what it is. Uh, it is a wireless a wireless setup. Uh, Brad talked about the uh, energy harvesting. What it is, it works a lot on kinetic energy, solar energy. They don't have batteries. It doesn't demand a lot to actually send the signals that it needs to send. And as, as he said before, there's actually over 100,000 buildings worldwide now that are actually using the technology. So it, it has been proven, and I've got some reference uh, materials at the end here, too. Here are some of just some of the products that, that we see out there that are in ocean enabled. Again, in ocean is the technology behind it, is the protocol. We have some light switches. Uh, the light switches, obviously, too, no batteries. They actually don't even wire in. You could set them on a table if you wanted to. Uh, door sensors, you see the key card switches, operating controls. We Obviously, they uh, oper operate PTAC also. So uh, next, next slide. Uh, here is just uh, one of our standard base model thermostats. As you can see on there, there's a couple things that you can edit the set points, occupied, unoccupied. Uh, one of the biggest things on the configuration, uh, what a lot of motels would do is when you leave, it will go into just a total shutoff state. Here you can actually set levels, so it doesn't have to be, you don't have to come back to a 90 degree room that you have to cool down to 70 degrees. Here again is just kind of a, an example of an, an ad that Ben Ocean has. You can see we actually can actually control your uh, Wi-Fi, uh, room temperature sensors, uh, position sensors. Most of the day we're concentrating on energy, but this is, again, 40% uh, energy savings. Now here's the first slide that actually brings up a point that I, wanna, I wanted to bring up. Is if you notice there it says 15% cost savings in new construction because of the lack of not having to run conduit to a switch. But in retrofit, obviously retrofitting this stuff for a, a standard energy management system means tearing out some walls, doing some wiring. With the DIN and PUC system that this uses, it saves 70% in cost savings because all it has to do is, is get into the, the breaker panel and, and install some in ocean devices. As a matter of fact, you can take the old wiring, the old switches, you can cover them up <coughs> and literally install a switch or a transmit receive device on any wall, anywhere you want to inside the hotel. There's really no limitations. Uh, as opposed to how it you used to have to find conduit, find the wire. With this, you don't have to do that at all. This is, this just shows you the length of the wireless transmit and re receive. This is uh, for an average building, 8,000 square feet. So, if you have a 100 room hotel with two levels, uh, the average is going to be three to four of these devices per hotel. And since it is proprietary, a lot of the questions have come up, is it going to interfere with my Wi-Fi? Is it going to interfere with the guest capabilities of being able to do that? No, it's proprietary. There's no overlap whatsoever. And it's got about twice the distance of a standard Wi-Fi. So it's strong enough that you don't have to put 10 of these devices per hotel. Um, Lee, this is the range extension devices. And I, we just want you to know that, that the system is completely capable of integration with your uh, your PMS tool. So if you want us as a company to come in and not only install this but also manage it for you, you can send the information to the cloud on the internet. If you don't want to have to learn one more thing in your hotel, one more management tool, one more thing to have to do, we can literally remotely come in, change the configuration, change the setting for you so that you don't have to manage that yourself. Lee, you want to say something? Yeah, actually, what we're actually seeing here, too, this is actually for uh, multiple locations or even outbuildings. Uh, you, you may have your separate buildings that are beyond the, the distance. It actually operates and sends messages through the Internet. So you could uh, technically go around the world if you wanted to with this, this system. Wait. I'll go ahead on this. This actually... What is really neat about this system, you can either go with or without an on-site management software tool. This system will actually work itself in what we call dumb mode. It does rudimentary type activities uh, 
unoccupied sensor. I actually have a demo kit. I wish I, I could show you, but we're over the phone. <laughs> but what I can actually show when you when you take the key out, everything goes into occupied mode. I have no server driving it. Uh, the only time we start getting into servers and stuff, and obviously we can, is when we get into monitoring energy costs. This system will actually go through and per device or as a global will show you energy costs per unit per month or however you want to yes. import it. Depending on how sophisticated you want to be. Correct. SMS interactive services. So what we do for you, and Lee's already, Lee and I have already covered this slightly, is um, we can come in if you decide you don't want to just have a dumb mode but you want to have an intelligent device, we can help you manage everything from the shutdown of your PCs at night, we can integrate camera surveillance from the same uh, dashboard on the internet, your HVAC controls, your door window sensors, if you change the hours of operation for your offices, and uh, thank, thank goodness that Inlink does what they do for you, after hours there's nobody in, in the office, we can come in and change the configuration for you re remotely. So you're, you're offered a world of flexibility once you look at adding the services on top of just having a dumb system. SMS interactive services. So there's, there's a, well, matter of fact, we'll show you a screenshot in just a moment. You can literally count the kilowatt hours per device, per room, per year. You can look at kilowatt hour average the previous year looking at it this year, if there's certain areas you need, you know, if you're, if you're at 95% of your budget for the month and you decide that you want to use less kilowatt hours for the last three days, you can literally go into your dashboard, you can monitor the actual consumption of the gas, of the water, and say, you know something, we are about to hit our budget for the month, we need to control this better, you can pull the usage down, run it at 90% or 60%. This is a, a, a couple of screenshots of uh, actually a system in Germany. You can't quite see the bottom right hand side, or maybe you can see the bottom right hand side of the uh, screen. But um, this shows year usage and uh, com compares previous year to this year. You, the energy cop pit will actually show you if you're getting in the, the red if you've almost used it. If you look at the bottom left, you'll see it takes January through December and shows the whole year. And these are, there's a couple things we didn't talk about, humidity, air quality, brightness, depending on how you want to monitor your rooms, you, you all may or may not be f familiar with the fact that mold grows um, when you have 60% or more than 60% of humidity in the air on an average uh, day and you keep that humidity above that level, mold will, will grow. And I'll tell you, eradicating mold is a huge problem. We can let you know if you have certain rooms that have too much humidity in them. And it's a whole lot more expensive to clean up a mold problem in a hotel than it is to prevent mold. Um, and it, it, anyway, it just shows some of the additional things that we can add on here. Surveillance. Lee, why don't you talk about the IP surveillance and just kind of how it combines here with the, uh, with the dashboard? Well, with this system, uh, it all is, uh, and we'll get into this, it's our SQL database. Uh, it actually can work with anything else. We actually have, we can actually work with existing cameras. We have IP cameras that will work with it. Uh, you can actually have activated by door sensors. Um, actually work with occupants, uh, the occupancy part. Obviously this is in a, a, addition to, it has to have power. This is not part of the energy harvesting, right. free power, green, true green stuff. But let's go ahead and go on to the next slide. I think I had another shot there. Oh, actually this is just, a, this is an example of a, a smart meter touch screen that we have and a module, if so, we have a, some clients that actually, instead of using their own server, you can get a little server which will actually, that little module on the bottom there will run the entire building. The entire building, mm -hmm. absolutely. So Lee touched on this. There's a number of different types of uh, property management uh, tools out there. Depending upon what type of property management service you have, we'll, we'll integrate with about 95% of what's on the market. And whether you're running Microsoft full-blown SQL, MySQL, whatever type of database you have, chances are that we've already integrated this tool and this dashboard with your property management service. So uh, if you have something that we have not currently integrated with, um, we can most likely write the code to make that happen for you as well because there are a lot of third-party systems 
um, that we'll find every now and then that are brand new. Um, reference building. So there's a, a, a the next screen also shows you. There's one significant thing that I want to show you about this whole screen. There are other key energy management systems available. They work well. They're not energy harvesting systems. They don't run off of kinetic and solar energy. Ours, again, is energy harvesting, runs off kinetic and solar energy. There's, there's one major uh, difference and an impact it has on you over and above just the savings of installing or a retrofit. If you'll look at the very bottom left, that uh, the second to last bullet point says save 42,000 batteries in 25 years. It doesn't tell you how much you save in maintenance costs on this. The older key energy energy management systems all run off of batteries. Those batteries have an average life of three to five years. If you have a lot of occupancy, the more they're used, the more they wear out. This system is a virtually zero maintenance system. No batteries, no wires, so we don't have to come in and every three years take it apart, pay a maintenance guy to put batteries in or pay us to put batteries in. It all works off of kinetic energy. And uh, if you go to the next slide, you'll see uh, here's you know, Wyndham Hotel. Um, I forget, Lee, where, where is the, uh, oh, Dubai. Um, and I don't know how to say that. Help me. Hotel Kempinski. I think I butchered it every time I've, uh, I, I've said it. But these are significant hotels, large hotels, that have put this system in. Uh, and again, we just put this on here to, let, to let, let you see it's not brand new. If you forget everything else during this whole presentation, please come back to this slide. <laughs> you have our website, you have our contact information, our, uh, our 800 number. Feel free to call us. We'll be glad to answer any questions. Uh, I think Pam's going to give us a chance in a minute to answer some questions now. But uh, we would be glad to send you some uh, more detailed information on this product and, and be glad to help you with any types of, of uh, needs you have. Pam? Um, so you can answer questions on the chat. I don't have any um, yet. But I also want to let you know that in the hotel toolbox on the InLink website, if you go to www.inlink.com where you normally log into ResMatrix, and across the bottom of your screen, click on the hotel toolbox. We have a um, connection for security to their website. So if you forget what's on this slide, you can find it on the InLink website. We will put some more contact information in there as well. But there is an overview and a way to get in contact um, to them from the InLink website. Uh, we have recorded the webinar today, as we always do. and so. By Friday, that should also be um, available on the website. So I don't see any questions. Um, your account managers are um, familiar with the content here. They can get you to Brad and Lee. They probably can't answer any questions about how it works, but they can certainly get you to Brad and Lee so that you can follow up. Um, as I said, this didn't have anything to do with the CRS, but is something that several of our customers have gotten very excited about the opportunity to save money. And I'm going to flip Brad's. Uh, you have to fill five less rooms um, on, on its head a little bit and say, now as InLink increases your occupancy and fills those five rooms, you get to put more of the money in your pocket instead right. of in your energy management pocket. <laughs> well, we're so. not suggesting that you don't sell more rooms. We're showing you that yeah, no. But you know, <laughs> any way that you can save 33 to 40 percent in the hotel, um, you know, it's got to be good for the hotels, and um, you know, that's why we wanted to share this information with you. Um, our next in touch forum will be on uh, February 15th, and we do have one of the InLink account managers, Christy McConnell, uh, hosting that one um, and speaking. And it's going to be how to make the most of your hotel website. So we'll talk about website development, some of the integration with the InLink system, um, how SEO, um, and then some advanced capabilities that we have to make your hotel website more effective in the place that 
um, you can drive um, more reservations. So we hope that you'll come back and join us um, at that point in time. And again, if you have questions, your um, account manager or your um, the InLink website can get you to Brad and Lee. So thank you guys for coming thank you. today. Thank you.